So it turns out, oof, I actually have another 12 by 12. So I'm going to paint this little guy. And I don't know why, but I got to paint another one of those skies. This time I want it to be, I've had this, I don't know, this idea, not idea. And again, there's nothing that original about it. I just feel like I want to do it, which is like a cumulus clouds, I think they're called, like the big puffy ones that kind of that go up in, you know, up in the air. First, I'm going to do a bit of a wash over the whole thing. Yeah. I'm going to do a wash of the whole thing. Huh. Oh, I think I should have clicked that button first. Should I have? Well, hopefully it's recording. Is it recording? Ah, well, find out later. Okay. Take the big brush. Put some red down. Why don't I try a bit of orange this time? Let's try some... Ooh, that's white. Let's put some orange and red. Sure. Why not, right? So this time, I would like to do more cumulus clouds. I don't know how many more I'm going to do of the ones where I've got that, like, you know, the horizon with the, the repeating clouds kind of thing on the bottom. I've done... One, two, three, four, let's, four or five, maybe? I don't know. I might just do a couple more. Just because, I don't know, it's like, why not? Why the hell not? And then, then I really want to get to some of the big paintings. I'm just, to be honest, I like sitting down. This is very comfortable. Now this canvas is kind of the edge. I'm feeling like it, I'm feeling the dip too much. What I mean is you can feel where the, see the, like this is really well made. Like, holy shit, they have, Look how thick this extra supporting thing is. So, like normally you just have this on the canvas. They've made this like sturdy. And inside there's like quarter rounds so it doesn't touch the canvas. But I can I can feel the dip here. I can feel the dip right about here. I just blah 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 blah. Okay. Where should I put this? Maybe you'll put it in the water. Okay. Zoom in. I guess I gotta come down here. Right about there. All right. I'm gonna find a brush to draw with. Let's see. How about this one? And how about we draw with purple, just because purple's here. Okay, so. Hmm. I need a bit more space. Oh, let's go this way, this way. All right. Okay. All right. Let's think about this. Cumulus clouds. Cumulus. What's up, Cheryl? Cumulus, motherfucker. Is that what they look like? No. Hmm. 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 Cumulus clouds. Maybe they would go like this. I've noticed that I've, I seem to always go this way, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way this time. And uh, I'm trying to like think of like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, like, like, I want to have like white. Like white as well as the uh, he can't speak. Oh, 
Things with the stuff. Why can't that work? Uh, 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 uh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of being have a bit of a brain fart here. Kind of like, I don't know. <sighs> what does a big cumulus cloud look like? Cumulus. Do they kind of come like? I want there to be striking white in this thing. Okay, how about this? Like that, and then another one over here. Okay, so this is gonna be the dark, the dark stuff. Oh, holy shit! It is so loud. Wow, it's like I'm shot with a stun gun. It's so loud. Wow. All right, anyhow. Oh, damn it. Damn it, go away. And then, okay, so this is the dark stuff, right? Then I want white. I want there to be like, <clears throat> John Henry watching, waiting. Oh, Jesus Christ, the pressure's on now. Fuck. The pressure's on. But fucking do something quick. Well, yeah, okay, so this will be the the dark, and then white. Where's the, where the hell's the white? I can watch this shit, it's going to be awesome. Okay, I need, you know, now, this, this can be the background color. It's very, I'm just trying to use up, oh man, I'm trying to use up lots of these paints. Because they're almost gone. Okay, I know I got white. I got lots of white. Oh, here's here's a nice. Oops. Here's here be white. Okay, so white. I'm from. I think it's a dude. Is that in a? I don't know where that's from. Oh shit! Why is everyone saying they're watching? They're freaking me out now. Now I gotta do something. Okay, all right, so yellowy white. Uh oh. Okay, so the. Yeah, it's so wet still. And then, like, um. So these are the. Like, how would they go? They would, like, just like, they would just be almost going vertical. Oh, it's the paint, it's the under. I was being patient, very impatient, because the undercoat is still very uh, wet. And then I wanted this. This could be, excuse me, like the uh, whoops background. I better mix it over here. So okay. So think about movement now. I gotta think about movement. So. If we're gonna have like movement coming this way and coming up, what what? Uh, we want flowing, right? All right, we got some from Quebec. Cool. Ooh, okay, what the? Oh. 
cumulus clouds. Don't steer me wrong, cumulus clouds. I'm not really sure. Well, that's kind of a nice blue, isn't it? It's almost like this greenish blue. Okay, maybe. Okay, so. Oh, two, two, um, okay, so we got these cool, okay, this is going to be the in-between, there, are. and then the dark, the dark, so I want some purple, it might be cool to let some of this red, uh, this red show through. And what's going to be the bottom? That's the question. Oh, I need more of that dark purple. That's really nice. This looks like blue. What is this? Is that the purple? No, this is blue, which is still good. Ain't nothing wrong with blue, man. I kind of want to do this. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. It's so cool having a screen to watch. I can I, what I see here. I can see f like flat, so I get to see the whole composition. Because you know, when I'm looking at, at an angle, I mean, I'm looking down at it. It, it looks like this. Wait, wait. If it gets narrower at the top, yeah, it kind of looks like this. This is my angle. <clears throat> when I'm looking right here. Boop, boop. But I look on the screen, I can see the you know the square composition. So that's that's cool. Plus, I can read what people are saying over here on the right hand side. I can I can show you what I'm talking about. One second. If I turn the screen on, like if I go here, yeah, over here is uh, YouTube, so I can see your comments right here. Not YouTube, Facebook. So I've got Facebook open, and I can read your comments here. And down here in this area, I have to turn the camera back on, but it, it's got like the camera view. So like I've got multiple, this is this software on the left hand side allows me to zoom in. And then this is the video capturing software here. So I got to go back to this view. So that's how I can see what's, what's, what's happening. This is, is kind of nice. <sighs> okay, where was I? Hmm. All right. Don't paint the wrong one. What are you talking about? Paint the wrong one. I don't know what you mean, Gina. It was some kind of joke. I just don't get it. Paint with the wrong one. How's that? How can I paint the wrong one? All right. Um. Yes, that's a bit, that's nice. That's a nice. All right. I like that. That looks beautiful. Hmm. Okay. I want to make it thick. You know what I really should be doing? I should be painting on panels. Because panels, I think they're hard. And they pick up the paint differently here. Like I don't need to, I don't like you. Know, the reason why you paint on a canvas is so you can have that little bit of bounciness. But actually, I sometimes don't like that. Sometimes I just don't like it. Oops. That is right. Wait, I want to get that purple back. What is this? Yeah, I think, yeah, that's the purple. Oh, is that the purple? Yeah, that's the purple. Okay. Oh, it's almost like these. Now, how do I bring up that purple? Let me see that purple. Now, I don't want just this one purple because that would be a little boring, right? 
So what I'll probably do in a second, it's not an abstract painting, damn it, this is super photorealism. Do you know that I just like talking shit? Just ignore what I say. I ha da 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 da, da. I have to keep talking because it's so fucking loud. Oh, yeah, it is a little bit like an abstract painting. I kind of like that, but that's just because it haven't it hasn't resolved yet, right? You haven't the monitor just the monitor. Oh, oh, don't paint the monitor. Looks like a Valentine's Day card. No, oh, fuck, I don't want that. I have no Valentine's Day card. You want to know why, Cheryl? Because it looks like there's some hearts there. I'm going to kill the hearts in a second. I don't like cute stuff. I don't like sentimental things. At all. At all. Okay. So. And now I'm going to start mixing some other colors in there. Look at this. Like, why not? Why not this orangey, like gray stuff? Okay. What's bugging me? What's bugging me? I gotta get my. I'm, I'm trying to improve my brush strokes. Needs more white. Yes, the reason why I talk so much is only to distract myself from the insanely loud tintus that I have right now. It is very loud. It's like screaming. It's like someone is fucking screaming. Oh. Ooh. Okay, let's try mixing this color. What is this? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I want that one to be more blue. How do you? I wonder. Yeah, I'm stunned right now. Sorry, it's so loud in my head that it's like, uh, oh, it's very, very hard to fight this. Very fucking hard. <sighs> Holy shit. It's like about an eight right now. Ow. It's like a screaming eight in my brain. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna try another paintbrush. Let's try this. Okay, this one. You wanna do that one? All right, I'm just gonna talk about it for a bit. I'm just gonna talk about it for a bit because it'll help. I have very, very bad tinnitus, which is ringing in the air. Tinnitus, tinnitus, however you want to pronounce it. And it is very, very fucking loud. And it is 24 hours. I almost never get a break from it. Painting helps a lot. And I found that when I talk, when I paint, it helps distract me because it is... It's inside my brain. It's like there's nothing wrong with my ear. I got a tumor. I got a brain tumor that affects one of the symptoms of this fucking brain tumor is it's making me go deaf in this ear and my brain. Uh, fuck it so loud. Damn it. Oh, so loud. Okay. And one of the, uh... <clears throat> the, uh... My brain interprets the 
lack of audio, uh, digital. Uh, Okay, what was I thinking? My brain, because it's right on the fucking nerve, it's right on the auditory nerve. Holy shit. Uh, what was I saying? So loud that, uh, no, no. God damn it, I can't even think. What was I talking about? It's so loud. No. It's, uh, my brain is creating a a sound in my head because it's expecting it's expecting the uh, the audio impulses to come into my brain but it's not they're not reaching there because the tumors stopping them so it creates this sound in my head which is this very loud frequency and uh, sometimes it's unbearable so I have to pay. Fuck. <clears throat> okay, just keep talking. All right. Uh, okay, I'm fucking, fucking, fucking. I'm just gonna have a drink here. One second. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, that's better. All right, what the, what the fuck was that? All right, so, ooh, I can't remember what I was saying there. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I like doing thick paint. This will help. Well, yeah, I got to keep on talking because it helps distract. Hmm. Oh. Kind of what I was hoping for. This is a little bit like I was hoping for. I was trying to think. You know, you know those. Uh, I don't know if it's A. White Jackson or some of these Canadian painters. I I, I grew up with in a way because I used to go to the Art Gallery of Ontario a lot. Actually, that was sort of like a hangout spot. Weirdo I was. And there was these paintings that were just beautiful that it was almost like I discovered something that no one else was like discovering I was like can't you guys see this stuff this is like beyond beautiful man how did I how did I do that so I used to go and go to the art gallery of Ontario and just look at this stuff I tend to repeat myself <laughs> my friends tell me that I tend to repeat my stories over and over well that's kind of cool Okay, that looks too much like a ball. I need to like clouds don't look like that. They sort of they they behave differently, don't they? Okay, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just making it up. The color's nice though. Okay. okay, so down here. No, that's I don't like that. I just whatever I did there is wrong. Let's put some red. Let's try making it a bit more ready purple. And I'm actually thinking about doing some paintings that are more completely. I, I noticed I have I've been using the same color palette for so many years, which is like a tend to use light, bright blues and stuff, and reds, and yellows, and uh, so I'm thinking about just screwing around with some like browns and blacks and whites. I saw this guy on Instagram. What's his name? I don't have my phone with me. This guy, I think he's, actually, I don't even know what country he's in. His name is Barrow something or other. But he's got some nice paintings that you should check out. Here, I'm going to go get my phone just so I can tell you who it is. First, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, where's my phone? 
to be honest, I'm, I really don't, I can't say I like Instagram at all, but recently I started finding new artists, which is pretty cool. So I, I use it to find different artists. There's a one guy, I think he's in Iran, Kyo Marsharpa, and it's kind of cool. Like we've been sort of like liking each other's work and he, he has a very consistent style. Okay, but this guy, I'm going to show you, how do you, you go to, uh, where do you, followers, his name is, I'll find it in a second, so what I did is I found one artist who I liked, and then I just followed all the people he's following, and I've, like, found so many cool new artists, which is inspiring and depressing at the same time, because you realize how many amazing, talented people there are out there. Because doing this stuff, like, you, it's a very lonely business, man. It's very lonely in that, well, at least if you're like me, because I isolate myself. I don't like going out and too much. Okay, come on. Where's the guy? I'm also because I, I need a little tiny break here just to compose myself. I feel like I, I kind of got lost for a few minutes there. Okay, here it is. Baro Amsterdam. So it's... B A R R O dot Amsterdam is this guy here. Now, probably won't be able to see this very well. Can you even see that? Wait. Can't see a screen. I think it'll. So here's the guy. Come on. Oh, I know. If I probably turn down the light to low, this. You probably will. There we go. So here's this person I've discovered recently, and he actually does lots of digital paintings, which I've never been a huge fan of, but I can tell his stuff is very original. And I'm digging his color palette. So he's doing like much more dark, somber stuff. And it's it's kind of like Adrian Gehi, who's another artist who I just, you know, apparently he's famous, but I didn't I didn't know about him. But he does more figurative work, more... And and I'm I'm kind of like it's it's causing me to go to try exploring, doing different things, right? I kind of I've been on a kick of Canadian arts to some degree because I wanted to go and explore what which is which is you know the essence of me because like I'm Canadian and I grew up like in Ontario and and I really love some of the stuff that's come from here like the Group of Seven. Tom Thompson, you know, he's a big part of my life growing up. You know, we would go on canoe trips and we would go, went to go visit where he painted. I think it's Canoe Lake, I think. You know, so it was all, that whole culture, which was, it was a very family thing. My whole family, it was, it was like what my family did. We would, we were very much about the rustic countryside here. And so I wanted to explore that and I also really want to explore Canadian identity because you know we've always been we've never had well what it means to be Canadian because we're so multicultural it makes you confused sometimes you know like what what is the culture and you know who are we and and then you know there's that whole indigenous side which I've never explored at all Actually, my brother-in-law is part Native Indian, but like I think he's a third or something. Doesn't really talk about it. It's not like it's ever come up really. Actually, I just remember that just now. But I wanted to do that for a while, like because I feel like that was something on my mind, and maybe it was on other people's minds. So like immigration. What it means to be Canadian, what, you know, what's, you know, all these, all these thoughts I wanted to explore, but also I, I just, I wanted to do something that was beautiful because it's easy as fuck to do something that's grotesque. I can tell you easy as shit to do. I could do, you know, I could do all kinds of shocking things, but I just feel like it's, it would be embarrassing. It feels like, uh, you know, I, it's cheap, cheap ass stuff. Some like for example, I noticed somewhere someone on Instagram recently did a painting like it was like a very traditional still life 
with a pear and an apple. And then they had a condom that was sort of like a used condom hanging over the edge. And it was done in a sort of traditional Italian kind of classical style. And it was like, oh, for fuck's sake, come on. I mean, I'm and, and I'm always have dual feelings about it because at the same time, I'm like, hey, you know, good for you. You're not just, at least you're experimenting and trying, you know, like at least you're, you're contributing somehow, you know, because it's, it, you know, it's hard to come up with something new. I don't, you know, that's, that's something I can't fault someone for, but so anyhow, I wanted to do something, you know what it was? I wanted, I, I kind of wanted to like, how can I make something as beautiful as like Tom Thompson or Van Gogh? but still be original that's sort of like my goal still and when i look at chagall's like chagall i think I've, i was brainwashed to 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 say that that's like the height of beauty because when you look at a chagall it's actually not that well painted it's not like it's not like it's like technically hard but it was original and you'd always recognize it so that was sort of like i have a romantic view of painting still like i still still have this like yeah if that's the only way to describe it i have a romantic view of painting because i always wanted to to be that artist you know what here's a funny thought i think it was klimt i remember seeing a photo of gustav klimt and he was i think it's called a mumu or a momo or it's like it's like a it's basically a, a robe you wear when you're really fat because you can't wear any other clothing but I was, and I'm sure it was just like his painting smock, but I was thinking, that's going to be me. That's kind of what I was destined for is to be this, like, I would love it if I could be uh, like a painter and I'll you know, fucking walk around and robe all day, <laughs> you know, I wish, I wish I could have that existence. The problem is like in real life, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm conservative, but I'm just not, I don't like uh, being outwardly shocking. I like to be just, just like fading away. I don't, I don't want, I don't like to be noticed. But uh, yeah, Gustav Klimt <laughs> wearing his mumu, or someone, someone knows what those things are called. Momo, mumu. Oh yeah. So help me make my dream come true. Find some 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 wealthy people. That's all I need is I just need one or two patrons. Some rich motherfuckers. Help me survive. <clears throat> okay all right that's coming along a little bit better Ooh, is that too strong there? i don't know now the the whole bottom part okay still it's still rough we're talking rough right okay Holy jeez, do I ever yabber on? Yabber, yabber, yabber. Now, the question, the next question is going to be, what do I do next? Oh, thank God. The ring's down about about a six and a half. See, it works. All I have to do is talk a bunch of nonsense for a little while, and then this, it comes down to something that's tolerable. This is tolerable. I could live with this. This 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 noise right now. Six and a half I can live with. It's just it's only extremely annoying. <laughs> oh, the irony is my favorite thing in the world was peace and quiet. Like I honestly like I was the most happy when things were silent. That is the irony. So now I must have done some bad shit in my other life if karma is true because it's taken away my my favorite thing in the world, which is just quiet. And sometimes it makes you think it makes you it makes you kind of crazy because you think like I'm never gonna have quiet for the rest of my life. Never gonna have a moment of peace. 
that's uh that's the scariest part for me is that i can't walk away i can't just walk away from the sound it's it's wherever you go it's always there and uh there were times where it was very, very scary. I didn't think I was going to make it because I, I didn't know what was happening. Before I got the diagnosis of this fucking little stupid goddamn tumor, I thought I was, you know, I couldn't. It was just, it was, uh, it's horrible. All right. Shut up. Paint. Okay. What if I made this one very, like, uh, I'm just trying to decide if I should do, yeah, I'm going to do reflection again. I just like these reflection ones. I don't know why. It just looks good. So, and I'm not going to do them forever. Like, like most things I've done, most of my paintings, like, start and that shit. But, like, I just, I explore a theme for a little while and then I move on. Like one guy was saying, do what? Like you know, why don't you? All you ever do is, is like paint leaves and, and fucking forests and stuff. Like whoa, that's like that's like maybe ten percent of the subject matter I've done. I probably painted way more people. It's just that that's the only thing I've shown. I don't know. That's the only thing that I maybe I've posted. But holy shit, am I ever blabbing a lot? Okay, we got some. Oh Jesus Christ, there's a lot of comments here. No, oh, I'm way back. Okay, so Cheryl, yes, I like hearts. No, no, I fucking hate hearts. Oh, I like the colors. There's, is there too much red? No, there's not too much. God, basically, any anytime anybody makes a suggestion, I'm just gonna say the opposite. I just have to. What color are you using, and what size brushes? Oh shit, I don't know what, what colors. To be honest, I have no idea. I just go by look. Like these, they're all they're all so mashed up. Like this one, I know is cerulean blue because I can see the color of this, and I know it's because I, I read it yesterday. But for the most part, I have every color. I usually just go and buy every color. Like what I do is I'll go and I'll go to the art store after a while, and um, unless I need specific colors, I just buy every single color. The only color I, I usually don't buy is black, but I did buy it recently because I wanted to work to use them. And brushes, to be honest, I have got probably a hundred brushes in the all varying the all varying sizes. Like, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh. So, in addition to the ones I have selected, I have sort of these medium sized brushes. Here's some larger ones. And I've got like my short selection of ones that I'm like want for this particular painting and of course the ones that I'm actually using here which are these ones and this is also part of my my immediate selection which is these ones so they really vary I, I don't know I wouldn't even know how to describe the size they just that's it so that's that question answer that question what's another question here that was Leanne. That was for Leanne. Um, says here, sorry, hugs. Oh, fuck yeah. Hang in, dude. Doing fine. Thanks, John. Clouds, good job. God bless you. That's nice. Kimono is a momo. Kimono is a momo. Kimono is a momo. Sounds like a rhyme. Kimono is a mono. No, no, I'm thinking something else. I know what a kimono is. I actually lived in Japan for a while. Moo moo. <laughs> how did your other how did your other painting you were working on last night turn out? Oh I, I well I basically finished it. It's uh it's right here. Ah oh, fuck's sake. Oh, this is very typical of me. I just built my <laughs> All right, well, I got to how do I even fix this? I knocked over my drink. <clears throat> this is half the problem about being is that you're you're usually a big I'm a big doofus klutz.
Big doofus klutz. All right. Where was I? Let's see. If... All right. No big deal. Just spazzed out there for a second. Okay. So the painting I was working on yesterday, let me just get a couple things organized so I can have access to them. All right, so, oh shit, yeah, i to fix this, this thing. It usually takes me like about a couple of minutes to adjust the camera. Awesome production value. Okay, come on, baby. Just right there, right there, right there. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so the painting I was working on last night <laughs> was this one. And I don't know, like, uh, I do like the thickness of it. Like, it's got really thick paint here, and you can see how it's following the same kind of pattern as far as like the uh, same kind of composition but this one is definitely coming out better like a like I want it to, to be this is like a bit like some of my older paintings I, I did but two years ago I had tons of paintings like with these colors this style okay hmm I can't say I'm in love with that other painting um, I just need to sit on it for a while. Okay, how long has it been? It's not quite an hour. It's probably like about... It feels like about 45 minutes. Okay. Hmm. Let's go back to... Let's go back to this thing here. Okay. Right, 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 right. So maybe. Hmm. Okay. So that goes in the water. If I'm gonna do, I feel like taking a break, man. After all this activity, I just. So this is why this is why I can't pay for long periods of time. Sometimes it's like it, it takes a lot out of me. If there's a, it's a lot harder for me to do this painting while I'm doing this live shit, because it just does. It just takes a lot more out of me. Like sometimes it sounds it sounds ridiculous, but like these days, an hour of painting, I sometimes have to go take a nap after. It just like fucking sucks me, sucks the life out of me. Not the life out of me. It just it just he uses up some sort of energy and a large part of it has to do with this tinnitus stuff where it's just it's like hard it's like uh it's like sometimes every second like i don't i don't talk about it all the time but it's always there and sometimes it's just like uh it's too exhausting to even talk to people sometimes i just remember i was at my my parents house about a whenever whenever um Hanukkah was whenever that was like last December and one of my favorite people in the world is like a, my dad's good friend He's now my good friend and he was like my second dad and I love this guy. He's a, he's like a wicked sculptor and architect and stuff and And he was there and I'll give him a hug and 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 he's like started asking me what you know How are you doing and all I could say is I can't talk Because it was this fucking tennis was so loud and it was sad because I think I might have hurt his feelings because I didn't mean it, but I just couldn't talk. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I think this is like my life now. This is, this is the way it is. You just have to accept it and try to keep on rolling with it. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be nice once I'm done down here. What I'm, what I'm gonna, what I have to do is I have to clarify this stuff. I want to make like little lines, bef like over here, and I'm gonna make the. 
I gotta make a match. Okay, just go. This is kind of a neat color. I'm gonna definitely gonna have to take a nap after this. <sighs> what should I do with these clouds here? They make them more. <sighs> I feel like maybe yellow. I wonder if um, I was kind of thinking more like a what if yeah what if I put some oranges over here? Well, that's kind of nice. Oops. Oops. I think I might have to stop soon. This is it's kind of bad right now. It's like a... Oh, God. oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, why didn't I think of that before? That's beautiful. What if I put some red in there? Fuck you. I'm just gonna go with the red. No, no, no. I like that orange is better. Orange is better. And what about really light? <sighs> okay, I'm just fighting. I'm fighting to hold on here right now. I'm fighting. It's like uh, holding on to a life raft. Oh, come on. Ooh, I know I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <sighs> what does it look like from there? No, no, that's not good. That's shit. That's crapola. That's not what I wanted. I need to just stop caring, just start doing. It's like, why don't I just go? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <sighs> no, that's not good. That's not right. Okay. I'm just, uh, I 
need to um <coughs> oh okay I survived that I survived it that was hard it was just like this uh <clears throat> I don't even know how you describe that, what just happened. It's almost like these, uh... It's like this, uh, horrible... Something or other. Hmm. Why does it look so different on the screen? It looks... So different on the screen. I, I kind of dig in this a bit. Oh man, son of a bitch. I did it. It was like a. Uh, hmm. Bring some of that down here. Where is that cerulean blue? Cerulean blue. It is. This is not fun, man. I just want a break. I just want just a little bit of peace. The only peace I get is when I sleep. And also, I've noticed in the morning when I wake up, there's about five to ten seconds when I don't hear it it's like as soon as I wake up and then it comes and it's like oh you fucker you're back it's like I actually had like a really asshole friend or something which just you know they were staying at your house for too long and then you know you forgot that they were They were there, but they're back. I wonder how that is looking. Right, well, excuse me, sniffle, sniffle. Sometimes I feel like such a complainer because I'm complaining a lot, a lot. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to come back to this. I think it was a good first pass. It still needs some work down here. I like the general composition. I think I might have finally gotten my, my cumulus clouds, which I've been trying to like, 
get to for a while. Why don't I just leave it like that? What time is it? Quarter to 12. Yeah, and I'll come back to it. All right, man, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I fucking lost my cool there. I would much rather take punches to the face, repeated punches to the face, than to have to deal with this. I could easily, if, if, if I had to trade off between getting punched 10 times in the face every morning as soon as I wake up, I would choose that in a heartbeat over this. Because at least I could get on with my day. Like, I might be bruised and blay for, for a few minutes, but, you know, I could take the pain. This is more than pain. This is more than, like, uh, this is, like, some sort of, like, nightmarish torture. That really is not fun. I was so hopeful that they were going to gamma knife it out. In fact, when I talked to one of the top surgeons in Canada who specializes in the gamma knife, which is like this, like, I think this is like, they use like radiation, like, like pointed lady radiation focal point, and it can cut out tumors without invasive surgery. I mean, you don't have to cut open your head. And I was, I was given the impression that I was a good candidate. And I remember when it was a fucking terrible moment because I was so hopeful. Like I was literally living minute to minute with this thing going by. And I remember going into the, the, the doctor's office and it was more shocking when they first told me I had a tumor. But when, when, when she told me that there, there's nothing, it's inoperable. Wow. That was, that was hard, man. Then I think about all the people that it's so much worse than me. Like, for example, I was reading today about this guy <laughs> who was jailed. He was in, he was like falsely ac accused and sentenced for 45 years in jail. And I read about him on Reddit today, and he's an artist. And how he got by to keep himself sane was he would he was doing watercolors every day. And I think about that, and I think about that's what keeps me going when I hear about shit like this, where there's people who have it so much worse. And I'm very lucky for what I have in my life. That you can't you can't um, what's it called self pity. Where's that guy? I wonder what it was on. It was it was definitely read it this morning. Uh, I'll try to find it. But anyway, I looked at his watercolors, and actually, I mean, there are some some. It was pretty good. Like there was one where there was like a um a kind of flower with a butterfly on top, which normally sounds goofy, but it was beautiful. It was actually really well done. And so he's like, apparently, he's being denied two million dollars from the government for for falsely accusing him so he's trying to sell his art to survive and um i would say go look at it you know if you want to buy some art go go to him because that you know i don't know I'll, I'll try to find it but um anyhow i'm gonna stop here take a break take a nap thanks for putting up with my bullshit. Bye.